Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, and happy Monday! Today I'm going to be doing the next six stages, that's 87 to 92 of the Hashtag Parkworks and Agora models release of Build the RMS Titanic. So this marks the start of Agora Models Week. Every day this week I'm going to be doing a build from Agora Models and what better way to start the week uh, doing the Titanic and especially today because you folks in America are being really treated today with a full solar eclipse. Now basically I believe it starts in Mexico at 11.07 Pacific Daylight Time in the morning, and it's just going to do an arc, as you can see in this picture here, across the United States all the way up to Maine. I'm so jealous, but I will be watching that on the news here, which I think we'll see at about 7 o'clock, 7.52 uh, p.m. tonight on the news. So uh, I, while it's all getting dark out here, I'll be able to watch the solar eclipse as it's going for America. I love space and things like that. I actually saw a solar eclipse in this country in 1999, and I tell you, if you've never experienced one, absolutely amazing it's basically it's really dark but i don't say dark like twilight dark like a bad storm's coming in it gets cold the wind picks up and something you will notice if you listen out for it all the wildlife and bird completely stop it's silent it's really haunting but uh really really enjoyed it anyway on a completely unrelated subject as i said we are building the titanic now if you want to get this for yourself i have put a link in the video description and there's also a qr code on the screen uh, in this country it's available through hash at partworks i don't know if it still is you might have to check that uh otherwise if you are in the uh, american northern and northern american territories you can get it from agora models but without further ado we're going to be starting on stage 87 let's get cracking So look, all the boxes we're doing up there because look, Titanic's disappeared. That's because it's next to me here. And this is the magazine about what we're actually doing. So let me just give you a quick flick through. So you can see now there's not a lot to do in the first two stages here because we are adding another piece of hull, as you can see here. So it's gonna look just like that. So let's start this first. So here is stage 87. We've got the screws and I've got this massive piece of hull looking like that. Now if I bring over the hull of the Titanic that we've been working on, this piece is just going to be going onto this side here. So putting it into position, because there's nothing actually holding these bits together, it's very wobbly at the moment. I've got these LM screws and I call them screws, but they're not actually got screw heads. They've got Allen hex heads like that. And I've put that on its side just to help me get these into place. And there you go. When that's in, if I just turn this round, we should look just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 88, as I said, it's very similar to what we've just done. Here's the magazine. Each stage does come with its own magazine. And as you can see, we've got the whole piece now, which is going on top of the piece we just put in there. And again, we're going to be putting these into place just like that. It does leave this little opening now so we can see the engine room. And again, this large piece looks just like this. And the way I want to put this on, probably best on the top camera, is take this and put it into the gap there. Because what we're going to do is sort of like rotate it round onto all of these pegs. So it snaps in just like that. And a lot of screw in now. So I'm gonna put this on its side. And I've got two points just here. You can see it through the little window there of LM screws to put into place. Once I've got those into position, I've got four LM screws to put along here. And again, I'll show you exactly how that looks there. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now I think we're done with hole pieces for this pack because we are now working on some more deck pieces. So this is the magazine. And as you can see, we've got our next deck piece here with some deck boards to put into place just like last time. And then we're gonna actually join this with what we created last time, which looks just like this here. Now this is the biggest box of this pack looking like this. And I'm just gonna do a dry fit to where these actually go. So this one's gonna be going in here like this. And then this one's gonna go on that side 
just like that there. So it's just a case of taking the adhesive off the back and sticking these down. Now, a lot of people say, Wayne, aren't you putting wood glue on this to keep it down? Well, for the bigger pieces, I do. But for these small pieces here, I'm finding I don't really need to because when I start putting some uh, parts and details just into these sections here, it tends to hold these down anyway. So that's one that side and one that side just there. Bring over what we were working on last time. This is gonna be going on this side here. Just put it into place on top. Turn it over. We do wanna make sure it all clips in here. So we wanna have this going over the top of this section here. So it's fitting just like that there again. Turn it over. And this time I've got AP screws to put in here. And it's gonna take six of these. That's the sixth one going in there. And now if I just turn this back over, that looks like that. Now don't worry about this join here and here. We're about to fix that in the next stages. Now we've not escaped windows at all in this pack. So stage 90 now, here's the magazine. And as you can see, we've got some lighting, we've got a staircase here, and we've got some windows to do. So we're gonna be putting these braces in here just to hold those two parts together, like that. Then I'm gonna be putting the staircase in, and then I've got loads of windows to put in, as you can see there. Putting this section onto the uh, deck that we've been doing there. So by the end, it's looking just like that. So let's just open stage 90, take all of these parts out bring over what we just finished on the last stage. And then we've got these little metal posts. As I mentioned earlier, we have put some in here, which are gonna be going into the grooves here and here, and that's gonna hold these sides together. Now we do need to glue these in. So I'm just gonna brush on some glue just into these points here and here. And I'll do the same on the other side. And then it's just a case of putting them, hopefully you can see this on the top camera, just into the grooves here to keep these parts from splitting apart. I'm just gonna hold that in place until the glue dries. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna put some masking tape on just to stop that lifting up. That's just my extra pair of hands there just to keep short that down, making sure that's not gonna move. I'm gonna turn this upside down and on this point here where we just did that join, I'm gonna be putting the staircase in, or the next staircase, which is just gonna go in here, over the top like that. Once again, that's held in with AP screws. So I do just wanna make sure that these are on the lugs that we got this side, and then just screw these in this side here. Now you will notice when I'm putting these down, try not to put any pressure on these sides here. You do want these to fit flat in here, like that. You heard that clip in. Because I don't wanna move these metal rods that I've just put in there. Now I've got another bit of decking to put on, which is just going into this vacant area here. You can probably see on the top camera. Then I can just put that whole thing to one side and bring over all these windows, because I'm about to put these tiny details into place. Now it does mean that I need to take these off the uh, photo etch here. So first thing I do, just get all these off. Put my magnifying glasses on and just get these into place. So what I'm gonna do is put them all in, show you what that looks like. Now when it comes to these bigger windows here, two of these are flat. So it's just a case of picking them up and dropping them in. But one of these does have an ever so slight curve on it. So I've got the photo etch here and I'm just gonna put it round this here just to give it a tiny bit of a bend in there. So it looks like that. And that's gonna fit a lot better on there, as you can see. Do the last windows here. 
And there you go, when they're all in, they should look like that. Now I wanna take these brackets here, and these are gonna be going on each of the keyhole pattern lugs that we've got on each side here. And there's four of these to put in. And they're held in with AP screws. Hold it from the back and screw these in and it'll stop your windows trying to ping out. So now that looks like that. Bring over the deck that we've been working on. And hopefully you can see how this goes. I want these slots here to fit in the slots just here. So get them in first. Perfect. And then AP screws to secure this down. All that's left to do then, turn this upside down. And I'm gonna be putting the light strip just into this area here. It is shaped to show you how it's gonna go. So this is gonna go in here like this. And then it's just a case of clipping this down on each side. And as you can see, that's in there like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. In the penultimate stage of this pack, stage 91, here's the magazine. And as you can see, pretty similar to what we've just done. We're gonna be putting some windows in again. We're gonna be attaching this to the other side of that deck, putting windows in some more parts here, putting this on. There's quite a bit to do in this and some details. And then we're gonna be putting a light strip in the back. Quite a lot on this one. So the first bit of windows we're gonna be putting on is this detail here. I've got the windows on this photo edge, which I'm having an enormous amount of problems picking up. There we go. I'll get these out and put these in here. There we go, that's all of those windows in. And while I've got that open, I'm gonna just put the windows into this piece as well. We're not meant to do that yet, but I thought, why the glue's open, let's do that. And there we go, that's that side done as well. And just like last time, we've then got these anchors to put in, and they can only go in one way because one side's got a keyhole pattern. So they're going in just like this, and AP screws to attach these into place. And I may as well do exactly the same thing on this one as well. Bring over the deck again. This time I'm working on this side here. And once again, I'm going to be making sure that these slots down the bottom go in first. Perfect. And I've got my AP screws here to screw this down to this deck. And then finally, the one we created earlier on again is gonna go into this section just here, like that, and AP screws to hold this section down. All we're gonna do then, turn this over, and I'm gonna be putting the next lot of lights just underneath this staircase here. This is gonna be going in here like that. So once that's clipped in, the last thing to do is just on this side here, I've got a couple of these funnels to put in. These go into the holes here. They are gonna need a tiny bit of glue just on the stems and I'll get these in make sure they're facing the right way and that one's two so they're in place I am saving these wires we're going to need them in the next stage but that is all there is to do in that stage so in the last stage here stage 92 here's the magazine and we've got uh Oh, what are these? We've got some uh, more photo etch here. I'm going to be putting these onto this bulkhead by the look of it. There's some grills. And again, putting these brackets on, putting this into place. Then I'm putting the last clip in. And then I believe I am joining up all the wires we've had so far so we can test all the lights. So I am going to need to dig out uh, a wire from the box. I didn't actually bring the box out, so I'm going to have to go into the house to get that. So first thing I'll do is just get these grills off this photo etch and put these onto this bulkhead here. So they're in like that. Again, putting these keyhole brackets on, four of these. Held in with the familiar AP screw. Bring over the deck and it's this side I want, but I want to turn this upside down like that. 
because this is going to be going on the end just here just like that once again held in with the AP screws all that's left to do then is to put the last light clip in like this so now all the light clips are in on this deck and now I just need to get from my boxes in the house the rest of the wires and the test board so we can test this okay so I've got all these Z cables let's go and plug them in so we start at this side I want one going into this plug here and that's going into the first one on this side here so J3 is going to J3 then I've got J2 here is going to J3 on this side over here then I've got J2 here is going to J2 over this side and then finally J1 which is here is going to go into J3 which is just here now I've got the battery box here the battery box is going to plug into J1 here and as you can see all right let's turn the lights off hang on there you go all of these lights are now on it's all working and that is the end of that stage that's also the end of that pack now just for storage I've just piled these decks together so this gives you a kind of idea how it is I haven't pushed this top deck down where it needs to be because there's loads of wires underneath it which is stopping this going down but I'll do that later on but it is certainly coming along isn't it so uh there you go that's another pack done now I really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care